Hi everybody. I um, decided to do the bathroom um, that we were talking about that I posted a couple of days ago. There were three or four, actually five, five people that inboxed me and said they wanted to see this anyways. Um, so it'll be uploaded on all my social media links. If you aren't following and you're getting to this site from a share of a friend, go ahead and follow me, Amy Elizabeth Designs. It will also be uploaded to my um, website as well. So if you can't use it now, obviously we can't get out of our homes. If you can, if you're in one of the, of the states that actually can, then you can find a lot of these um, things from Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, um, Wayfair, everything that I am that I have used, I use from an actual tile shop here in the Detroit area. But um, but the things that I am showing can also I, I research them. You can find them on different websites, and I will have an entire document, a word document that will show several links. So. I'm gonna upload that into my blog so you'll be able to see that too, which will be really cool. So it's kind of gonna be your own shopping list and you can tweak it depending on what size bathroom you have. Obviously there's a lot of variables that go into each bathroom, but I'm gonna show you kind of the overview as to what you can do with it. Um, and then you can run with it on your own. Um, obviously you're going to need somebody that knows how to do plumbing, how to install a vanity, um, how to install a tile, um, and it's gonna look a little bit different. You're gonna take measurements. Those are all things uh, for like the square footage of the tiles you need are gonna be specific to your bathroom. So with all of that, let's begin. If you have any questions, just email me, um, inbox me on any of my social media platforms and I can help you. Um, or if this is something you're like, oh, I love this bathroom. I want you and your team to do this. Once we get out of this shelter in place, we can always do that too. Okay, to begin with, we're going to start um, on the floor and then work our way up the room and then explain the vanities um, and lighting and plumbing fixtures. So to begin with, you will also see pictures of the rooms that I've done, just kind of as an inspiration picture. So you'll see um, the flooring that we use on the um, on the floor <laughs> is this kind of pattern. It's a black, gray, and white pattern um, tile. You will, I actually only am linking two different kinds um, to purchase, but there are a, so many thousands of, of this kind of style tile. Um, you can get them in small pieces that are six by six. You can go 12 by 12. Um, there's a bunch of different sizes you can use. And the links you can go to, go ahead and look through that. And a lot of times they'll have, if you like this look, then you'll like this similar look. And you can click through it and see until you find one that you like exactly. So, but it's a gray, white, and um, black tile. So that will be your flooring. Now, for your baseboards, you, I personally like taller um, base. So this is a five and a half inch base. It has what we call a little step that gives a little bit of detail. It's streamlined, it's straight lines. I like that, that this bathroom kind of lends itself to that more of like an industrial clean, like straight line kind of look. Um, so there is this, paint it pure white. Um, is what I usually use from Sherwin-Williams, and I'll show you the paint colors here at the very end, um, or actually in the middle. So that would be the size that I would go. You can go a little bit smaller if you want. This has a little bit more of a curve. I prefer the straight line casing, or the basing base, so I, that's probably what I would go with, but you can definitely do this. You can, you know, this is one of those things you can make shift. You can kind of add and tweak um, to make it exactly your style. You go from there, the other casing would be your crown. Now in a couple of them, actually two of them, I used crown molding. I prefer crown molding pretty much everywhere because I think it gives a lot of detail and character to a room. So this is the crown that I have used. Um, I've used each time. And it just has a bit of a curve. You can do stacked. Um, a lot of times my trim guys will take it where this isn't an exact piece, but if you want to stack it, you can have it where it shows a little bit more um, like stacked and detailed. Um, a higher crown, um, you'll have the crown kind of go down into the wall. Um, or you can just use this. 
Um, either way works, just depends on the height. A lot of times of your bathroom, if you have a taller bathroom, if you have a nine foot wall, to have a little bit more drama, I use a little bit uh, more of a stacked crown. So from starting back at your base, from your base, what you do then is you'll take your base, you will take your subway tile, and you start your um, you start your subway tile where you kind of set it on here, and you're going to build it up the wall. Now I am on my page, um, the word document that I'm uploading. I have several options for white subway tile. So I did one client. Her uh, toilet was a little bit like a bone color, so she, we used a little bit of an off-white subway tile. I'm not, I did not post anything about white or off-white subway tiles. Um, but if that is your case and you have like a bone color toilet, go ahead and get a subway tile that's an off-white. They're a little bit more difficult to find because there are so many different shades of white. But for this video, we're going to use just white. Now, I do have a few different options. We have beveled edges. So you can have a beveled white subway tile. You can have one that is not beveled. Um, and I've used both, um, but I thought, oh, I'll give a couple different options. Um, so this is just a basic subway white tile, or you can have a longer beveled subway tile. Those are the three options that I put in the document that you'll see on the um, blog. Also, kind of what I do with the, what I did with the subway tiles, I take them about like 40, 40, between 40 and 45 inches off the base, up the wall. What you wanna make sure is if you have a outlet, you're gonna take your base, say your outlet is you know right here, you're gonna take the subway tile to right above the outlet so it's not stopping in the middle of an outlet, if that makes sense. So if you have any questions, just ask me. But from here, we go ahead and you take your subway tile and then at right around 40, 45 inches up the wall, then the next step is you're stacking your wood flooring porcelain. So it looks like wood flooring, but it's a porcelain tile. So it's gonna look like this. It's gonna have this, it's gonna have this. And so you stack it right above. Now, in our custom bathrooms, we have a wood trim piece that goes all the way around that separates that. Um, that's not something that you can do without um, ordering that uh, separate. So you can actually just do this or get a chair rail molding from Home Depot or something like that. And you stain it the color of whatever your vanity is. You can do that always as an option. And it just goes around the circumference of the bathroom. And that kind of separates your bathroom tile from the porcelain wood looking tile. So the three different choices I linked um, are just variations of like a warm gray. This uh, type of wood. It has grain, which creates a little bit of an interest. You lay it in a staggered um, format. So it's pretty much a, you know, a tile, then a tile, then a tile, then a tile, not just lining up the lines, if that makes sense. There's several different options. This one and this one, this is actually the one I actually used. So it's really, really pretty. It's gorgeous how it kind of just flows together. So that is your tile and then you end, whoops, then you end with the crown and the top. Now, what I always do is I have all of the tile on three walls or um, like one instance we had like a walk in, like where you walk into the bathroom and so there was a wall and then there were three other walls. So you have your tile on three walls, but then your back wall is going to be the color, uh, it's gonna be a paint color. So it's a deep color. Um, and the one that I always use is, um, well I've used two of them, Dovetail by Sharon Williams and Gauntlet Gray. So Dovetail is the color SW7018 and Gauntlet Gray is SW7019. So it's just a gorgeous uh, deep color gray, which is absolutely beautiful. And Sherwin-Williams is, I don't know how many Sherwin-Williams are open right now or not open, um, but you can also get that at Lowe's. So that is a beautiful color. So that is going to be the back wall color that your vanity will sit up against. 
So you'll pretty much have tile that dies in on both sides into your color, your painted wall, and then you have the vanity. Now, the vanity, let's talk about that. So the vanities that I've used in my own bathrooms are, um, they are custom, but I've looked up three different versions um, on a couple of different websites and I listed them. So depending on what size you need, again, take measurements of your whole um, bathroom and to see what size fits best. But the color wood I use is just kind of like this, um, it's like a beachy wood color that is uh, the color that I suggest for your vanities. Each vanity that I posted um, had your ability to also choose your um, countertop. This is the countertop. You'll see this in so many different um, kitchens and bathrooms as the vanity top. Um, this particular one is quartz, but it sits. So you've got your vanity, you've got this as your countertop, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So you could do that. Um, there was one that was a little bit more industrial looking where we used a gray um, quartz countertop. Also beautiful. You could actually do that too. So it's pretty much just tailoring it you know, to exactly the look that you love the best. Um, grout lines, you can go crazy with grout lines. A lot of times we'll take the really white, white, and with that we'll use a grout line that's a little bit um, darker for contrast. You can do something like that, or you can have it where it's just white and it blends right in. Um, with the actual tile, wood tile wall part, I personally used the grout lines, uh, the grout that was the blended best with the tile because I didn't want to have a big contrast. But again, you know, it's one of those things that you can do however you want your room to look like. Um, so what I do not have um, on here because I couldn't bring those into the room what, or into this into my house um, were the mirrors. So you want to measure, I have two, I have a round mirror and a rectangle mirror that will be, um, I have the website links. You can use those depending on what your room looks like. If you have a little bit smaller, narrower of a vanity, you're gonna use a mirror that's rectangle. So it's gonna be smaller the width, but the taller height. Um, I like to use mirrors all the time that go utilize the height of your ceiling and gives the illusion of a bigger room. So you can do that. Um, if you have a little bit wider of vanity, you could do the circle um, mirror. And each mirror I'm using is like that floating framed kind of mirror, that black. So um, it's a black framed mirror and lighting, you can do pendant lighting if you have it already wired or if you have somebody um, in your home that can do uh, electrical. The pendant lighting, I hang on either side of the mirror. So it's kind of like a, a setup. So you have your vanity, you have your mirror, and you have two pendant lights. If you needed something different, um, go ahead and inbox me. I can always send a couple of um, links to maybe a hang one you know pendant, or you could just use one pendant light if you have something just hanging over um, already existing in your bathroom. I used every single time I've used the black hardware. Um, I love black, matte black. Um, it's gorgeous. But a lot of people now are asking for the brushed gold, which is absolutely beautiful. And that's always a fun way to kind of, you know, spruce it up too. So, and I did say spruce. That sounds like an 80-year-old, but that's what I did. Um, so there's that. And I showed you the paint color. And I think that's it. I think um, there's nothing else that's missing. So... Everything, like I said, will be on all of my social media um, platforms. I am Amy, and it's Amy Elizabeth Designs is the name of my company. And it will be on Instagram and Facebook, YouTube, and I will be sending this out in a blog along with my um, with the shopping list. And I think that's all for now, guys. I think that I, once a week, I'm going to be making these videos, um, just kind of giving you a couple of pointers, things that you can do. I think my next one is going to be about how to rearrange your furniture in an office to make it function the best that you can. Probably not a shopping list, but at least some spatial ideas that you can do to make your um, smaller spaces maybe look a little bit bigger. So 
Um, until I see you guys again, stay well, and I will see you soon. Bye.